we would like to understand your vision of how the underlying principles of yoga can be applied here in the greater uh, UN system. All human experience has a chemical basis to it. What you call as peace is a certain kind of chemistry, what you call as joy is another kind of chemistry, blissfulness another, ecstasy another, agony another kind, anxiety, fear, te stress, tension, whatever you call it. Every human experience has a chemical basis to it. Now the question is only, are you a great soup or a lousy soup? This is a chemical soup. Now, are you a great soup or a lousy soup? That's all the question is. If I give the same soup making ingredients to all these people, do you believe they will turn out a same kind of soup? They will turn out hundred different varieties of soups. Not because the ingredients are different, all of us are made with the same stuff. Just see how different we have become. This is simply because we have not been taught about how to deal with this. When I say how to deal with this, as a… as a technology, if you want to look at this as a machine, this is the most sophisticated piece of technology on the planet. The question is, to deal with this high level of technology, have you read even the user's manual? That's a question. Yoga means it is the user's manual of how to conduct this one. I would say, when you ask this question, how to bring all these diverse people together in this organization, it's best to start with the simplest process, which does not even need a specific allotment of time. This is where Upa Yoga will become useful. People can sit in their work spaces and right there they can do it three minutes, any time they feel like it. It does not need a specific condition, it does not need a specific time. If they see the benefit, which they definitely will, in a matter of two weeks' time they will see a distinct benefit doing it wherever they are. It does not need any kind of specific discipline or time or other conditions required for normal… Um, the proper yoga to be done. I think this would be a good way to integrate them because this predates all religion. This is not about you versus me. This is why I said this is not Indian because a science cannot be Indian. Yes, it originated from India. As Indians, we are proud of it, but it does not belong to India. The very fact that United Nations has declared an International Yoga Day means India has gifted it to the world. It does not belong to India anymore. We… <laughs> it's… it's not something that we have to possess and identify with. The significant aspect of my personal work has been to remove all the frills of culture that yoga had acquired through this millennia of transmission. Slowly, whatever you do in a particular culture, it will acquire cultural frills. So one thing is to take off all the cultural frills and present it as an absolute science and a technology for well-being. This is an important thing in an organization like this, where there are people from every nation, there are people from every kind of denominations, every kind of faith, every kind of beliefs, every kind of ideologies. It's very, very important that yoga is brought as a proper science, not as a cultural thing, not as an Indian thing. It's very important to do that.